Hello. Uh, today I'm going to be doing some free and open source gaming on Linux. Um, I'm going to be playing Exotic. Exotic. I'm not exactly sure how to pronounce it, um, but this is the main first-person shooter game for Linux. Um, so I'm on their homepage here, exotic.org. You can download it. They have forums, um, and like they say here, it's GPL v3 licensed. Um, and I find it's a super fun game. I'm not a huge gamer, um, but I do like first person shooters and this one is super fun. A lot of the multipliers, multiplayer servers have vehicles or a couple of them do. Um, so I used to play Halo back in like 2015 or so. Um, and Exotic feels like kind of a drop in replacement for a game like that. Um, I haven't played any of the newest, um, newest um, like AAA first-person shooters, so they're probably a bit better. But I find this totally playable and tons of fun. Um, and so you can go here on their GitLab, GitLab.org/exotic, and um, they have all of their code here. Um, so I believe it's C or C++. So if you're a developer, you could modify this. Um, and it's probably pretty straightforward to just switch assets in and out. So if you want to reskin the game, I imagine that's doable as well. Um, and then Exotic is based on the Dark Places engine, um, which is a fork of Quake, um, the Quake engine developed by id Software and John Carmack. Um, so I believe what John Carmack did was after an engine had been out for three or four years, he would release it open source. And so that's how the Quake source code uh, became open source and became the Dark Places engine. Um, I guess there's this neat family tree here. Um, I don't know where Dark Places is, but... Um, so yeah, it, I'm running this on a... Um, on a Dell Optiplex uh, 9010. Um, so this is a not an especially high performance uh, computer. I don't even have any sort of a graphics card, eight gigabytes of RAM, um, an eight core CPU. And this will run Exotic totally fine. Um, you have great graphics, probably because it was an engine developed in the uh, 90s, early 2000s when uh, graphics techn uh, like hardware wasn't nearly as good as it is now. Um, so I'll get to the game. Um, and it's kind of a bummer. The multiplayer servers are often pretty dead. Um, like there's normally one or two with a few people on it, um, but you don't have a ton of options. And it also seems very Europe centric. Uh, so I have pretty good internet, but I'm in America. And so I find I often have pretty high ping uh, to connect to these servers in Europe. Um, my favorite is, yeah, Jeff's Vehicle Warfare here. Um, but yeah, there's only one guy here right now. Um, so hopefully by, like, doing the streaming, I can get the, get some publicity for Exotic and hopefully get some more people on the multiplayer servers. I'm going to post on Twitter that I'm live. Um, yeah, I've been trying to get a, uh, a Twitch channel started. Um, I have some free time now, so I thought might as well just kind of uh, do some gaming and try to get a few followers in there. Um, I want to add a link more prominently on my website and hopefully can transfer some people from YouTube and Twitter to Twitch. Um,
Can I drive the ambulances? That'd be fun. No. What does the uh, skull and crossbones mean? Alright, so that's probably the other guy. I don't know how to get across here either. Oh, I can fly across. Um, and the control sets are a little confusing. It took me a while to figure it out, and I couldn't get a good tutorial online. But you move around like this with WSAD, and then space to increase altitude, and shift space to decrease altitude. And then the one that's always gotten me is um, you do so you do F to get out. Um, oh, he was shooting at me. And then you can do G to change oop, change the perspective. So you can get a first person, or you can kind of see the vehicle from behind a little bit. Um, But I think it's just Jeff's server that is the only one with uh, with uh, with the vehicles. Okay, so this is oh, there he is. Does he have a dragon? Okay. Um, okay, so he's flying that across. But he's on our side, so I should probably just try to defend the flag. Oh, does he already have it? Yes, yeah, so you can. Oh. I'm also not all that good at Exotic, um, so I normally lose pretty badly when I play on uh, public multiplayer. Also, I definitely still don't understand some of the constru the controls, um, because, um, other players will do this thing where they, like, um, I don't know, it's almost like a rocket jump, but they can, like, move much faster than I seem to be able to. Um, there are also grappling hooks on some servers that I haven't really figured out how to use well yet. I also don't know how to get across this moat. I don't know if maybe you just can't. Um, I 
But yeah, you can do G and it switches to this like first person view. Or F to do the, oh yeah, F to get out uh, G to do first person mode. Yeah, so I don't quite understand how he was moving so quickly there. Alright, I'm going to do some uh, single player for a bit.
Okay, so we, uh, we're going to lose unless we get a bunch of kills pretty quickly. Is this like a, uh, an escape room or something? Oh, never mind. There are also these like creatures that I uh, I haven't really figured out, but I think normally you can just shoot them, uh, and if you don't, they do you damage.
All right. Uh, so I have uh, one viewer right now. Um, I'm also recording this, so I may try to like splice together some of the game footage at some point. Um, but we'll see. I also think the way to get a Twitch channel started is probably just to like stream a lot. Um, like with any social network, the uh, the first hundred followers is probably the uh, the hardest. It's frozen. Um, so it seems like it's still streaming. Okay, Exontic just crashed. Um, okay. 
so the other thing I wanted to try on the stream was um, compiling Doom. It's almost like a cliche, everyone tries to compile Doom on all sorts of random platforms. Um, so I thought that could be a fun, uh, fun thing to do on stream. Oh wow, so this was, uh, what is it, it's like January 3rd or 2nd, 2024, so this was uh, 22 years ago. Um, so he says here, uh, you still need real Doom data to work with this code, um, so I may need other resources. Um, this is cool though. Um, you compile Doom on Linux. Mint. The meme was that this is actually very easy, but uh, apparently not. Okay, so the same thing. Uh, I'll make some notes too. This link was nice. Okay, and this was just coming from 
id software doom I don't even see archive here um, okay interesting um, okay but it's the same thing So IPX, I have no idea what that is. Um, this is some sort of networking. Okay, that's probably not the most important thing. Linux Doom, okay, so this is probably the main source. Linux Doom 1.10. So I can maybe build this with make. Um, that book. Oh, this is cool. The Doom book. Shortly after the Wolfenstein 3D source release, I sent a mail to Jay Wilbur suggesting a book about the Doom engine. I anticipated a similar release of the Doom sources within a year or two, and the obvious problem with the Wolfenstein sources, lack of accompanying artwork, a code base not maintained for quite some time, seemed to demand a better approach. I talked to some publishing company reps at the book fair in 1995, and while they were cautiously interested, it was not. In the last weeks of 1996, following a visit at id Software two months earlier, and after the departure of J. Wilbur, John Carmack asked me whether I would still be interested in doing the book. I was. Bear sent me a code dump, and Todd Hollinshed sent out to address the legal concerns, of which were many. Unfortunately, what might have worked in 1995 turned out to be a doomed attempt in 1997. I won't go into the details. Let's just say that my, my leaving university and going back to full-time writing for a living repeatedly forced me to change priorities on what looked more and more like a project unlikely to generate any revenue. By mid of the year, when the legal issues had finally been settled, it didn't look like I was going to find a publisher, to, publisher at all. Following the book fair, okay, so this is neat. Um, sound and doom. So we want Linux sound. Oh, so that's what the SND server is. Oh, sound server. Makes sense. Um, sound drivers should be an asynchronous model, either a separate thread or a separate process. This is because sound should always be fed to the card without interruption or else you get pops and with low latency or else you might get angry players. Uh, yeah, that totally makes sense. Um, if you tried to do the sound on uh, the main thread, it'd be di a disaster. Um, it's funny if you look up uh, like CPPCon videos, like a third of the people are either doing high frequency trading or uh, audio because those are two of the most real time things. Um, so they were dealing with that back then too. Um, now it turns out that this kind of code isn't too fun to write. Async code is still uh, not fun to write. In the days of Linux Doom, threads were not a happening thing in Linux. In fact, they still largely aren't. You can use them these days if you have GNU's libc installed, but you still can't debug them, so they're still hard to debug, uh, because GDB doesn't support them properly yet. Um, I know John Carmack has said before he's big on uh, using the debugger and like stepping through things. Um, in Quake, I discovered that I could feed multiple acknowledgments to a sound blaster or compatible without any side effects, such as pops or other malfunctions. This discovery made, made me to switch to a completely synchronous model. Oh, interesting. 
much, much easier to debug and understand. So I think that this was fairly intelligent. Although we had to populate the game with calls in the right place to keep the sound buffers fed, and although it wasn't guaranteed to always be fed, well over 99% of the time it was fed and your latency was worth, worse than the frequency of your refills. Um, oh, so that's interesting. So he did the doom sound, oh no, he did the quake sound on the same thread. Interesting. Um, That's funny. Um, okay. To do. Are these like his old uh, to dos from the 90s? How about shareware retail? You are here. That's not a bad idea. Remove checks for commercial version. Developer toolkit. Okay. Oh wow, the uh, the translation is just a uh, a uh, like a pound define. Um, Um, so I, I've done a lot of C++ development. I've not done uh, much C, but I'm hoping I'm just going to be able to, like, make build this, and that'll just work. Um, sounds. This is the sound server he was talking about. Um, I do not need a modem driver. Okay. Um, So I wonder if I can just uh, is there a make file? Okay, so make. Can't create Linux Doom Def. Um, I'm just pretty sure I have GCC installed. Yep. Um, C flags. Is that what it's complaining about? X11 R6. Um, So this is just a warning. Doom def dot o. Um. Okay, I'm not sure what that is. Oh, it's this. Not too sophisticated dependency. Um. So dot o is an object file. So that's like a pre-compiled thing. Doom def, I wonder if, is that like here? Um, Doom def. So it can't find Doom def, def dot o. Um, okay. O equals Linux. Oh, so it's expecting them to all, all the .o files to be here. Um, clean.
Um, so I'm actually not super familiar with uh, like how compiling C and uh, make files work. But it looks like what it's doing here is that it has this O equals Linux. So this is the subdirectory for the .o object files. And then the linker, I think, is going to use this O obj, uh, objects um, field and then find all of these .o files. Um, and um, okay, so do I want to um, make dir Linux CD Linux? Can I do like I can see make you do like this? Um, how do I? Uh, Um, so, let's see, how do I like run a make file? How do you run a make file? Um, Linux from a subdirectory. I wonder if I can just search and find someone else doing the exact same thing. Um, so I'll just include a bunch of these strings in there. Linux doom 1.10 Linux doom master make file make GCC, um, what does this give me? Oh, so I might have just needed to do uh, make make dir Linux. Um, okay, so these are just warnings, and then we have fatal error error nos.h no such file or directory. Um, so I wonder if it's like built for a graphics library that no longer exists or something. Uh, that's exactly. When I run my C code on GCC on Ubuntu, it gives me this error. Uh, that's different, though. I think this may be why people distribute versions of Doom that aren't the original. Um, because there might be just like a bunch of little things broken here. Okay. Error, that's it, right? We're pretty close. Uh, you haven't installed the C. Oh, I might not have like the uh, install dependencies for inst uh, thing C and Debian. Um, there's a package that's like apt install build send yeah this is it um, apt install build essential Linux apt uh, I do have GCC though. Um, 
so yep. Uh, okay, I don't care about the version. But nothing new was installed. Um, Try installing some of these. What even is this? Um, I video C. Um, I wonder what happens if I just remove it. of other errors. Um, okay, let's see if I can find a tutorial for doing this. So it seems like just downloading the archive and building it is not straightforward. Um, okay. to okay so that wasn't installed uh, okay I could believe it would need libc um, though it's weird that that would not be in the uh, the build essentials nope okay um, how to compile doom um, I... Oh, hey! Uh, that's exactly my issue. Oh, so it's a typo. Error and... Oh-ho! Wait, no way. Oh, so when I deleted it, it did actually fix it. So these are just the next... the next errors. Um... Okay, so let's make some notes here. Um, then, okay. Compilation instructions. Um, download source. Um, and then you should fix a typo in fix a typo in doom do 
Doom Master Linux Doom 1.10 um, slash i video.c change um, error no stat h to air and o dot h okay interesting um and then i get this exact same error okay so now we're on to something um In the M misc C, I wonder if this didn't compile in like the early '90s or in the '90s when they made this archive, or if like C changed. Or um, it sounds like this might be a bit different than the commercial version too. So who knows? Okay, uh, so I get this exact same error. In the M misc C. Um, M misc. C. I wonder what these prefixes are. So is P M I D. I guess it makes it like nice and easy to sort, like it groups them together. Um, okay. So M misc C during the this declaration on the lines that contain casts. Okay. Is this an incompatibility with modern compilers? Okay, that was my question. Has anyone managed to get past it? Oh, are you compiling it on 64-bit? It looks like int is smaller than the pointer type. Um, this is definitely a 64-bit computer. Um, so that's a good uh, question. Um, not finished. Try using the M32 flag. Oh, interesting. And link with uh, running build need. So this is going to be an issue too. Um, okay. What is SDL? Some graphics library. Um, if you're using a 64, try the M32 flag. So, what does this do? Okay, so this does just sound like a mess. Um, okay, so I'll add a note here. Um, 64 bit ability. Um, let's link to this. Um, So it sounds like this person's saying there's just a bug of some sort here. Um, 
the element and the initialized list are not constant expressions. Take a look at this. I guess mouse dev is another variable. There you have it. Um, oh, interesting. Okay, I can't remember now, but I think non-constant initializer lists were introduced in one of the later C standards. Try making the compiler stick to a different one. I take a shot with C99. Okay, interesting. So the one about integer from pointer size was correctly answered by Alex. Um, this guy's Alex. Okay, so it sounds like maybe I have to do both of these. Um, so what do I get? Um, MISC C293. These are all the same. Okay, so it sounds like the issue here is that initializer lists used to be const in C, but now on most compilers they are not. So the fix would be to make them constant. Um, Oh, and then this is the cast from a pointer to an integer of a different size. Um, so I think maybe that won't be an issue, because if we're going from 32 to 64, if it wasn't overflowing for him in 32 bits, we'll definitely be fine. So maybe we can ignore this, but then this is a real issue. Um, initializer element is not constant. So can I just make it constant? Um, I'm gonna watch this. Um, how to make a initializer list const in C. Okay. Um, okay. So can I just put const here? Let's see if that does it. No. Initial element is not constant. M load defaults.
Um, so I'm not exactly sure why this requires it to be const. Um, This is C++. And I'm not sure I understand why. So, struct. OK. Okay, in C language, objects with static storage duration have to be initialized with constant expressions or with aggregate initializers containing constant expressions. A large object is never a constant expression in C, even if the object is declared as const. So that is probably why this hack did not work. Moreover, in C language, the term constant refers to literal constants. Uh, okay, yeah. Uh, enum members, const qualified objects are not constants in C language terminology. They cannot be used in initializer of object with static, static storage duration regardless of their type. For example, this is not constant. Um, okay, initializer element is not constant. So, okay, um, define to declare name constants and also resort to define to create named aggregate initializers. So, is the solution to make this whole thing a uh, define? I don't quite understand. Um, let's copy this error into my notes. Okay, so I'm not exactly sure what I should do here then. Um, so did they have a suggestion? Um, is that open? I've got two viewers now. Nice. 
Um, so if you're just joining, I'm trying to compile Doom. Um, and I've found a couple of issues. Uh, so you can download the source pretty easily. There's a typo in it that you have to fix. And then there was some change in the C standard, which is breaking this line here. And I haven't been able to figure out a fix. Um, all right. at this. Um, the elements in the initializer list are not constant expressions. Take a look at this. So mouse sensitivity or mouse dev is where's that one? Okay. Uh, So he's doing a reference to mouse dev. Wait, what is this? He's casting this string to an int. Um, okay. This is an int pointer. Oh, so he's taking a reference to this mouse dev variable. Um, here, and then, okay, he converts that to a pointer, and then I don't really understand what this is doing, but the other ones is just some constant. Uh, okay, so it's like a string, um, some pointer reference, and then the value in this list. Uh, sure. Um, and then the core issue is, where is it? Um, in C language objects with static storage duration, I don't quite understand what that means. Uh, have to be initialized with constant expressions or with aggregate initializers containing constant expressions. Um, we probably use define to declare name constants in order to define to create named aggregate initializers. Okay. Um, So what is static storage in C? Is this static? Uh, so let's delete my const. Default t okay, f12. Um,
What does extern mean to? Um, all variables defined in file scope have static storage duration. This means they live forever. Okay. Have internal linkage, have external linkage. Okay, I think that makes sense. Um, has static storage duration and external linkage, which is why you can access it directly from other translation units. Okay. So, where is it? Um, okay, so these can be accessed um, from other compilation modules, which makes sense. Why you'd want that. Um, and then defaults. Um, the defaults are used here. Um, I wondered if I just put like extern or um, so I don't quite understand. I are these initialization lists just illegal, or is it illegal because these are extern? Um, no. Yeah, that's my question. Um, or no, like what's the way to do this? Oh, will this work on Clang? Um, I'd probably actually prefer Clang anyways. Okay, it's the same thing. I uh, wonder if this string though will give me a better, better answer. Um, how to fix? The clang error makes more sense too. Like, I could almost have figured out what the issue was from here. Um, okay.
Um, so what if this is just in a function? Is that all it wants? Um, default t get defaults um, How this works? Uh, was it? Is a a list just a pointer in C? Um, Okay, yeah, so will this work? Function, so it moved here. Um, so this might, might be nice to have. Um, initializer element is not a compile time constant. Yeah. So let's just see where this is used. Find all references. Um, so essentially I want to only run, so it's complaining, so the, the thing it's complaining about actually kind of makes sense. So it's saying that you can't just declare this stuff globally and have it not be a compiler constant. Um, so what I think I want to do is just have it run this get defaults once and then um, and then just like keep using the same one. Um, so I'm going to do, let's put this up above. Um, And then pool defaults loaded, yep. Um, and then defaults loaded equals true. Loaded equals true. Uh, I don't know if there's gonna be a scope issue here. Um, 
they called boolean in C? Okay, we'll see. Does that compile? This looks better. Uh, this is definitely running for longer. Um, but I'm not actually generating the defaults, so it's going to be broken. Um, let's see. Okay, so this isn't fully fixed, but it looks like I get a whole new error here. Um, Non-TLS reference and sound.o. Linux i sound.o. Okay, this is another whole a different issue. Um, Let's search this one, and then if this is like a whole nother rabbit hole, I may just try to find um, a modern version of Doom so that I'm not like doing a bunch of these little fixes. Um, I thought uh, compiling Doom was supposed to be easy. Like the uh, the stereotype is that like people just like uh, compiled Doom to run on all sorts of random hardware, and I do I do see using it now how it could be very hackable. Like once you figured it out, um, it'd be a lot easier to port this to some new library or to some new hardware than like um, than uh, like a lot of other programs since it's just C. Um, but yeah, even on just like default Linux, it does not uh, does not work out of the box. Um, Okay, I wonder if I can fix this though. Um, okay, let's see. Uh, I sound. I sound. So that was what he did. That said, he that said he uh, that he said broke. Um, so can I just include it? So this is some libc thing. Um, that i sound dot c it looked like um, it might have compiled here though um, so that would be huge part into
let's finish this too. Okay, uh, so I I made this get defaults function, so this only happens once. And but I can't actually run it because then it'll just be on its own here. Um, so let's add a, f a fix here. Um, if yeah, and then I'll just find the references. by calling get defaults um, Okay, so I've got lots of warnings, but I think it compiled. Um, so let's add this hack. Um, oh geez. Um, Um, C error. Okay. Um, okay, I think I've documented everything I did, and I think it's built. LS Linux. Okay, moment of truth. Linux, Linux Doom. So the post did say it needed to be like some specific resolution of like 300 by 300, uh, which this monitor is definitely not. Um, so I'm guessing this won't work. Um, I also don't understand graphics very well, so I think when you do graphics on Linux, it's you're making calls to like OpenCL, OpenGL, something like that, which I don't think Doom is going to have, um, but we will see. Okay, game mode indeterminate. Allocate screen. Oh, this is the function I edited, or edited. W and if, okay. Um, so I got kind of far. I did these first four and then got to this, um, doom.
Oh, is this the artwork? He, he said that in the readme. Um, so what did he say in the readme? He said... Uh, this is remarkably small. Like, there's not a ton of ton going on here. Um, okay. Mm. Okay, some project ideas. Port it to your favorite operating system. That's what we're doing here. We're porting uh, Doom to Linux Mint. Uh, add rendering features, add game features, that'd be kind of fun. Create a packet server based internet game, client server, 3D acceleration. Um, okay. Um, you'll still need real Doom data to work with this code. You should be able to find them at software stores. Um, I don't think they still sell Doom at software stores. Um, okay. Data for a complete game. IWAD. Okay, so I need like the data files. Um, okay, and here they are. So let's save this here. Um, IWAD files. Get iWad. Game has compiled. You will get this error when trying to run it. Um, this means Okay, and let's link this. Okay, when the game executable starts, one of the first things it does is attempt to locate an IWAD file. This is done based on name. The executable has the name of the Doom, Heretic, or Hexen IWAD file stored in the terminal list. So doom1.wad, doom1. Okay. Um, oh, here it is. Uh, if normal Unix, Doom Wadder. Uh, okay, so this is what they were talking about. So these are all the WAD files. Where is Doom Wad door? Doom Wad door. Oh, it defaults to the current directory. Um, let's do the shareware Doom. Can I download it here? Or is this maybe still copyright? I don't think they still sell Doom. 
Um, is a cut down version of Doom Power Can you only the first episode? Oh, I want the. Or I can do the shareware. That's fine. Um, oh, so they give me the hash here, but I can't download it. Download Doom. Um, download Doom IWAD files. Okay, here we go. Let's do the Doom one. Desktop Doom. So this looked like the the default Doom Wadder is um, the current directory, which works well for me. And then uh, it's looking for like Doom.wad or Doom1.wad. Um, okay, this is okay. So if I can't get it to work, I may just do this. Uh, so let's make that its own page. Um, Okay. Um, doom one dot iwad, and then I'm running it from this directory, so that maybe should work. Um, so hopefully now when I run this, it'll detect the iwad, and then nope. Um, Let's try this. Um, copy. That's also the wrong name. Um, oh, and I'm not in this current directory. Uh, okay. Move doom1.wad to Linux slash. It wants the name to be just doom1.wad, lowercase. And then I'll make a new tab for running it in. Oh, so it detected the shareware, which I think is because it was Doom 1. Um, so that worked. Um, here. You can fix this by copying the iWAD files into your current directory. Um, the I, um, okay. Okay, shareware, init miscellaneous info, Init Doom Refresh Daemon Segmentation Fault. Okay, R init. Um, okay.
Um, okay, so I may give up on compiling this. Uh, this is actually harder than I thought it was going to be. What I do want to try doing, um, so I'll save my notes here. Um, I'm kind of impressed with how far I got, uh, but this is actually pretty involved. So what I'm going to try doing is to run this version of FreeDoom. Um, which looks like it's already going to be compiled. Okay, so this will be different graphics. Uh, so it's like not copyright. Sweet. Um, Freedom produce three independent IWADs, which I now know what they are. Uh, freedom phase, cool, cool. Um, okay, sweet. So let's try running this. So. apt PR doom um, doom let's just do free doom That was cool, though. Um, so it seems like if you take the Doom archive, you can't just download the code from like 2002 or whatever. Um, but there are several compiler issues. So if you try to run it, the C compiler has changed in the last like 20 something years. Um, and so it does not work out of the box. Um, so it seems like maybe if I were to try this again, I might just start with the Freedom source so that I'm not dealing with um, all of these random random doom uh, like source code errors. Um, but so I think if I were trying to port to a different platform, I think I would not start with this archive unless I wanted to fix all of these again, um, but maybe try the free doom. Um, but I think I just installed free doom with apt. So I think I should just be able to run it. So I think it's this phase one. Let's try. Um, all right, awesome. So I don't know the controls. So I'm not I'm not doing anything right now. Um, this is cool though. Ah, so this is still uh, still going without me. Um, I'm not touching it. Um, okay, so it's definitely running. I'm, I'm not playing it, though, so I'm not exactly sure what's happening here. Um. 
Um, there's a dimensional shambler waiting. Press Y to quit. Okay. Uh, what happens if I just run free doom here? And free doom one. Oh, so that's all the uh, the things I was seeing earlier. So I got. Um, I think I got this far. I think I think Mindsec folded here. So I wonder if that is just like some compatibility with like newer graphics library or something. Um, so I probably would not have been able to do that in one sitting. Um, how to play Free Doom? Free Doom. So I still don't understand these controls. Uh, let me try the. Let me try two. Uh, so I'm not controlling this right now either. Maybe I should install this other thing he told me to. PR boom. Okay. Uh, so I think maybe when I installed uh, free doom it okay so I didn't find that um, it's just like the iwads and not an actual um, is an it's not an actual um, the actual source um, so that's where download in place let's try this too um, so, open in terminal, copy, let's do doom2 to two, slash, um, user share games doom. After Oh, that was an issue. Okay. Um, let's also rename it. Actually, no. 
Um, okay. And then if I try to run Doom now, will it work? Oh, I did install this. Oh, so PR Boom plus... Okay, I'm not controlling this either. Um, I'm going to try to watch a YouTube video. Um, I will uh, try not to like restream someone's video for too long, though. Uh, how to play PR Doom. PR Doom. What was it called? Oh, PR Boom. Boom, Open Doom, Linux. Okay. Um, So can I just press enter here? I'm doing like WSAD space shift.
So I wonder if this is the initial loading sequence, or because it looks like this bar is moving here. So when this finishes playing, I don't know if that'll take me to a uh, main menu or something. Alright, uh, I think I'm going to stop with Doom for now. Um, but it seems like the conclusion is that the original source takes some doing to compile, but there are a bunch of projects like Free Doom that um, have essentially solved that for you. Um, I can't actually play the game. Like, I was doing this, uh, this thing here, um, which is some sort of tutorial or it's like demoing it. So it seems like it's running, but I don't actually know how to like play the game. Um, so I can try like escape. Oh, here we go. Oh, so I just needed to do escape here. Nice, nice. Uh, military labs. Will this hurt? All right. So I'm looking left and right with my mouse, WSAD, and then click to shoot. All right, cool. Am I stuck in here now?
Okay, so if you just stand by this door, it'll let you through. Maybe? Did I have to do right click, I think? Okay, whatever. Um, oh, I lost my gun. Okay, I'm in trouble. All right. All right, I think I got to figure it out though. Um, so you just needed to open the Doom level and then do uh, Escape. And then Okay, and then space to open this. Okay, that's explosive. So don't shoot these, except at a distance, maybe? Oh, can I blow him up? Oof. Are these health packs? Oh, nice. How do I get up there? Uh... What did the uh, controls say? Okay, so this was what I was missing to open the door. Um, exclamation jump. Hmm. Huh. 
Okay, that didn't work. Uh, but I don't know how to get up there. Nice. Alright, this is the furthest I've gotten. Um, but I have no ammo. Okay, so I've uh, I gotta go with my fists here. And I have seven health. This door requires a blue key. Is this a blue key? This door requires a blue key. Okay. Okay, so that's where I came from. I got ammo somehow. All right, here we go. I've got a better gun, nice. I've got fists, my pistol. Okay, and then whatever this is. So I did not see a blue key here. Um, I don't see any, anywhere else to go, though. Blue key. Um... Picked up a light armor vest. Okay. Um, okay, I died. All right. Uh, I think I'm getting tired, so I think I'm going to call it here. But uh, thanks for watching. Um, so I think the conclusions were that the Doom Source is actually pretty easy to read. Um, I understand why people like to try to port it to new platforms, um, but trying to do it from scratch is a little involved, but you can just install the free Doom package on Debian, and it pretty much just works out of the box. All right, thanks for watching. Bye. Oh, I can't quit this.